This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. What's going on guys? Ben Glickin here coming back at you with another video. This is my first video on Madden NFL 19. I would like to stress that this is uh, a beta version of the game, so this is not the final game by any means. But today we are going over a new feature with this early gameplay of Madden 19. If you guys are new here, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get right into it. So this is my review breakdown uh, and kind of first opinions on custom draft classes in Madden NFL 19. So this is a new feature they're adding for 19. Of course, it was in years past. And what was the number one thing uh, that franchise guys were asking for, like myself, prior to Madden NFL 19? That is bring back custom draft classes. Because we saw them taken out, I believe, just after Madden 25. And that was in 2014. So we've seen Madden 15. We've seen Madden 16, 17, 18 without custom draft classes. And they are finally back. You guys, if you follow along with the screen, you'll be able to see that you can go in as soon as scouting comes up, as soon as you're able to scout, you can download these custom draft classes. Now, I will stress, of course, I did fly out to EA Play. So the community files, there aren't any. There are a few that are, you know, test files and names and things like that. I just wanted to show you guys the process of downloading. And you can see we did get an error message. Uh, because there are no community files yet. EA, as far as I know, will not be adding any type of community files whatsoever uh, for draft classes. That is going to be on the shoulders of the user to create a number of different things. And whether that means NCAA draft classes for, you know, the future upcoming years, as you can see the different options uh, to edit draft classes, import from the community files and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, you have the option. We're going to pull up Mason Mahoney here. Random player, doesn't exist. You can edit anything you want about him. Uh, but, of course... Uh, custom draft classes gives you the option for so many different things of course we talked about ncaa prospects for years to come being imported but also think about the 1983 draft class bringing in john l not john elway uh but like dan marino and jim kelly i mean there are a number of different options that you can add uh and it just brings a whole new dynamic and a whole new element uh, to the game and you know the, any draft class that you could really think of you know bringing these players in as you see i'm choosing to do ed oliver he in my opinion is the best player in this 2019 nfl draft uh, that we'll see up here in about a year he's aaron donald 2.0 to me and i think he's a very very good player very talented so i thought why not make him why not showcase him as you know one of the options for us to use so of course you can change first name last name position jersey number what hand they use as their dominant hand what college they go to you can change their height weight equipment development ratings so a big thing uh on twitter for me twitter.com slash bengal designs link is down in the description is you guys the subscribers to my channel would tweet me your sick draft picks and of course you know you'd see some really good ones but you couldn't edit anything now it's going to be kind of weird on twitter with people trying to get around it look at this sick, sick draft player uh, that i got Sick player that I drafted, and it's going to be a 99 overall maxed out player. Uh, but you really can edit anything. And I think it is kind of cool that you have the option to. Uh, and of course, people will go over the top. You can put all 99 players into a draft class if you wanted to. You can change absolutely anything about these players. So, of course, we're going to change his development to superstar in this video. And you can also change his ratings. So, on the right side of the screen, you do have rating ranges depending on their position. You can see what elite speed would be for each position. So, of course, there's elite, good, average, and poor. I think Ed Oliver's a freak athlete, but I went ahead and gave him 84 speed, which I think is very, very good for a defensive tackle. You can also see the overall by type. So, run stopper, speed rusher, and power rusher for defensive tackles. Uh, and if you guys don't know about types, those are player archetypes, which are new into Madden NFL 19. If you guys want to see a video on breaking down player archetypes on that, Make sure to tell me down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for that eventual video. I do have a lot more Madden 19 content on the way prior to launch uh, before the game actually launches on, I believe it's August 2nd with EA Access on the Xbox One. I think it might be the 7th in general for everybody with a special edition of Madden, the Hall of Fame edition with Terrell Owens or whatever that is. Uh, probably be the one that I'm getting. But as you can see, we are still in edit player you can adjust the order of any of these players of course with y uh, and you can edit any single player you want most players around here were at the top of the list 
80 to 81, 82, and there, I think there was one 83. But as you can see, we do have the ability to scout him. He is not scouted yet, even though we, of course, we just edited him, edited him. We know what attributes he's going to have. But of course, any player that comes in here, if you were to import a draft class, hypothetically, you would not know any of the ratings. So I think that's pretty cool because people will make draft classes. A ton of people are going to. I'm super excited for that. But we're going to go ahead and sim to the draft here so you guys can see how that works. So, of course, we do have Griffin Murphy over there on the computer because uh, Bill Belichick is not in the game. But as you can see, they do have a new draft background that kind of immerses you into franchise mode a little bit more. As you can see, the Baltimore Ravens are on the clock at number one. I couldn't let that happen. I need the number one overall pick. I need the draft at Oliver. So excuse the ridiculousness of this trade. I didn't want to waste much time. We didn't have a ton of time to record. Uh, so I wanted to get this trade over with as quick as possible. Gronk, Brady, and Julian Steroidalman. That's, that's a weak joke. Uh, for the number one overall pick. And of course, who are we going to take? But Ed Oliver, defensive tackle out of Houston. We already know how good he is. You can see his combine report kind of matches the attributes that we changed for him. So speed, agility, acceleration, strength kind of go into some of those uh, combine activities there with the 40, the bench press. 20 yard shuttle things like that and we do draft him there's a new animation when he comes out superstar development has him showing off the guns there so we can see everything about his player profile is what we changed we can see his exact ratings uh that we specified there he is of course the number one overall player in the draft and they show his top strengths now uh so strength and power moves at 96 and 93 are his top two attributes and those are showcased there on his player card and you can see as you take a player he pops up on that big board there um and there, there's no commissioner there's no players coming out i think it's a little bit much to ask for right now but there is a crowd there is you know the outside showcase for when players get drafted like it's you know like a draft party or things like that i think it's a really awesome change it kind of immerses you more into the game as i talked about a little bit here but guys i think that's probably going to do it for my review breakdown first look at custom draft classes in madden nfl 19 franchise mode i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are ready for more madden 19 content on the way of course Thank you again. Huge thank you to EA and the Game Changers program for allowing me to do this. Met a lot of nice guys at EA Play. Kralo, Clint Oldenburg, the Madden dev team. Of course, countless YouTubers. RBT, not the expert. It was an awesome time uh, with all these guys. Too many to name. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe for more Madden 19 content on the way soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.